Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. With the inclusion of golem shaping in the Age of Sorcery Chapter 3, I thought it only right that I build a golem workshop, so that's what we'll be doing today. The requirements for this build are on screen now. There's absolutely no mods included, and though I've used a good few DLC pieces, you could easily do this with base game building assets. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, after laying out the base plate to match the blueprint, I used arena walls to build a one tile base around the build. This is the base layer, and will form a visual foundation. On the more central section, I used a trick I learned from Barden to get a bit of a different texture. I placed doorways instead of walls, and then used vaulted ceiling pieces to block off the doorways, which creates a nice visual. I also added a staircase down into this basement area, though I will move these stairs later on. I also did the same vaulted ceiling trick on the front 2x2. Once the arena walls were finished, I moved on to the Stormglass walls. I chose Stormglass for the more arcane quality, though Numidian or Yamatai are also very good options. I placed stairs leading up to the central section on either side, and built a second tile of walls on the front buildings. On the central building, I built another line of arena walls and then used Stormglass walls and windows on the second tile. I had to use stable pillars to replace the arena corner pillars so I could place sloping sides to cover the gaps that would arise between the two roofs later on, and then I swapped the pillars back to arena once the sloping sides were placed. Next I built a third tile of storm glass walls right in the centre, which will be the roof mount. I again had to use stable pillars to allow sloping sides to fill the gaps that would happen, and I then used vaulted ceiling pieces to create an interesting ceiling design that also serves to create an archway leading to the front 2x2. Two two. Next for the roof gables. Things are really simple here, as I used open gable roofs running in opposite directions on the side buildings. Atop the central structure, I built a 2x1 and used the real windows trick to add half doorways, creating a small roof mount. Next for the roofing itself. I used storm glass roof pieces to follow the flow of the roof mounts, which ended up being quite simple. Atop the central roof, I built a pyramid hip that leads up to the half doorways, under which I would place rooftop caps. To finish off, I also fenced off the front 2x2 and placed storm glass crenellated walls atop the central roof. After a bit of consideration, I decided to change the roof slightly. I added sloping sides on the outward facing side, onto which I then placed roof pieces to slightly extend the roofs out and give the overall build a bit more shape. Finally, I went to the back of the build and added a small stepped buttress, which allowed me to move the stairs inside back by a single tile, freeing up some more real estate on the main floor. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. I lit the build with Argosian braziers outside and Turanian lighting on the interior. Heading inside through the left door, this build includes no accommodation and rather focuses on all the amenities needed for crafting golems. This includes a wide variety of workstations scattered throughout the build, including tanneries, furnaces, golem workbenches, and of course the Guardian Assembly Station at the centre of things on the front 2x2. Having that station on the podium helps it stand out a bit more, and the open air nature helps to give the space a little more breathing room. I managed to get most of the workstations to fit in fairly nicely, and I think it kind of suits. The design philosophy behind laying everything out like this was that so everything kind of leans in towards the centre where of course the golems are made, as the items produced at pretty much all of the stations will ultimately go towards making those golems.
Beneath the build, I've turned that small basement into a storage area that also includes some cauldrons, so you can keep all your necessary golem resources safe. And there we have it, a golem workshop in the Exile Lands. Thanks for watching, I wanted to make this a sort of one stop shop for crafting golems, including workstations for pretty much all the items you need to create them. I might do an EBA build in the future that focuses more on just the golem workbench and the assembly station, if that's something you guys want to see. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have something you'd like to see me build, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Of course, a massive thank you to our esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.